The BMP is probably the most iconic infantry fighting vehicle in the century and has seen a lot of action. In Gunner Heat BC, the BMP-1 for the East Germans can be lethal against NATO tanks if you're not careful. And once infantry support comes out, the BMP will expand its role on the battlefield. My name is Fan Fantasy, and I cover tactical and immersive games like Gunner Heat BC. Before we go on this video, do me a favor and make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and to subscribe to stay up to date and to help my channel to grow. In this video today, I'll be showcasing the BMP and how to use the Gunner Sights and the ATGM and then I'll be doing a short mission with the BMP. To give a bit of history, the first BMP-1 had caused a bit of stir to the west when it first appeared. It essentially revolutionized the role of infantry fighting vehicles, IFV for short. When it first appeared, there was nothing equal to it, which eventually led to the costly development of the Bradley for the US, which you can check out my past few videos on it. Of course, the role of mechanized infantry wasn't necessarily a new concept since the Germans were the first to develop this concept called the Panzer Grenadiers with their APCs. It was the Soviets who had the idea of putting together a tank and an armored personnel carrier, which then created the first infantry fighting vehicle. The Soviets wanted an armored vehicle that had good speed and good armament while having the ability to dismount troops quickly into the battlefield. Additionally, while having the ability to stay on the battlefield and to support their infantry advance. The designs and specifications came around the late 1950s and it wasn't until 1966 when it was first accepted into service. As you can see here in the design of the BMP, there's a frontal arc which is designed to deflect rounds, which is able to withstand 23mm autocannon AP rounds, while the sides, rear and roof is able to withstand 12.7 heavy machine gun rounds and other small arms fire. In terms of the armament and weapons, it uses the 73mm 2A28 Grom. It is a low pressure smooth barrel semi-auto gun. Although the fire rate is not as fast as the BMB2, it can definitely take out vehicles. Surrounding the gun is where the ammunition is stored, thus making a critical weak point for the BMP-1. Another important feature which I will show you in this video is the Mayuka ATGM missile, which can engage tanks from 500 meters to about 3000 meters. The missile was radio controlled rather than wired. In Gunner Heat PC or in most games and simulators, the BMP-1 shouldn't be used like a tank, nor should it be used as a frontal attack against tanks. The BMP works well when it's complemented with other tanks in the battlefield, and it can also be used as a reconnaissance role as well. Once the infantry models are out and ready, I can imagine the BMP to play more of a critical role of transporting its troops from point A to point B while supporting them and keeping up with the infantry. I know some of you are definitely big fans of this vehicle, so let me know your thoughts on the comments below, and I'll show you how the BMP works. I just want to showcase to you all how to use the BMP's gunnery sights because it can be a little bit confusing to use. And you can also check out the official gunnery heat PC's gunnery guide which is where all my information is coming from. And there are two rounds for the BMP. There's the heat and there's the HE. You'll most likely be using the heat rounds for your targets against vehicles. So depending on which round that you will use, you will need to read the sights correctly. So for heat rounds, you'll be reading from numbers 4 to 13. 4 means 400 meters, 13 means 1300 meters, and so forth. And for high explosive rounds, HE, you will be using the arrows on the bottom. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll be using heat rounds because heat rounds are probably the most common rounds that you'll be using. Since there's no rangefinder for the BMP, there is a trick by using your coaxial machine gun to determine the range for your heat round. So I'm going to switch to my coaxial. And let's just say I want to target that tank. So I'm going to fire. Looks like 800 meters is correct, so I'm going to switch to my main gun. So thankfully the coaxial machine gun and the heat round does have the same arch, so when you switch between, it should basically be the same range. There you go, that's a hit. And because we determined that target was 800 meters, we can probably estimate the tank on the left to be about 1000, and I'm going to fire. And that's a hit. So once again, I'll demonstrate for you. I'm gonna switch to my coaxial machine gun. Yep, let's say about 400 meters, switch my heat rounds and fire. And that's a hit. So once again, I just demonstrated one of the ways to range find by switching to your coaxial machine gun and back to your main gun. Unless you already know your range number and your distance, then this is one of the ways to find your range. Keep in mind that this method only works on heat rounds and not HE. So if you end up fighting in low light or night settings, you can press T to turn on the night sights and this is how it looks like. 
The arrow was about 400 meters, the line underneath is 600, and the last line is about 800 meters. Alright everyone, I do want to showcase to you all the Mayuka ATGM missile, which is attached to this BMP right here, and they are pretty deadly against NATO tanks if you know how to use them well. So to use it, once I switch to my ATGM missile, I won't be able to move my main cannon, my main guns. Essentially, all my controls now are going to be controlling the missile, so whatever control you're using for the turret will now be forwarded to the missile. And so once you fire that missile, you're going to move it down. You're going to move the arrow down to control it. And basically, you're going to keep track of the, the red circle behind the missile, which you'll see in a bit. So I'm going to demonstrate by firing one at that tank right there. And fire. So I'm going to move it down. Move it up to steady it. And there you go. That's a hit. So they tend to go up, and then you try to... Move it back down. It is, it is advised that you do not do at close range with the missiles because they are they tend to go up and they will miss your targets for sure. So it is best to keep at a distance with the BMPs, especially if you're using the ATGM missile. So I'm gonna use demonstrate one more with this tank and fire. Move it down. And you do need a little bit of distance so that you can control your missile. There you go. That's a hit. Go for a further target right there. And fire. I'm gonna steady it. It's a little hard to see at a distance. There you go, that's a hit. So in summary, it does take some practice and some skills to control the missile. It is advised that you fire at a distance so that you can control it well enough. So we're going to be doing a short mission called Gambling Giants. We are a mech feature company. Your company is going to conduct an attack on a small collection of structures up to the hill to your front. But first you must destroy the enemy screening elements just to your front left. So the enemy is that we have two times known M113s, an unknown number of tanks and M13s on the objective. And for the friendlies, we got about some T55s and some BMP1s. Mission is to destroy the screening element and assault and seize a collection of buildings just one kilometer to your front, consolidating position and prepare to repel counterattacks. So the end condition is that all units of one side are knocked out. So pretty simple. All right, let's take a look at the map real quickly. So we do see some contacts here at this intersection with two APCs, and they got some contacts in this little village area. And we can expect enemies coming from the east here. So what we'll do is we'll take care of the APCs. We'll, we'll call in an RD strike before we attack this little village area. And once our company moves up, and if they do decide to move up, since we are the only BMP element, we're gonna move here on the west of this uh, village area and then we'll take care of any other extra remaining units there and what we'll do is we'll keep an eye out on the i guess the east in case if there's any counterattacks as our company is taking over this area so we'll keep it simple and straightforward in this mission so we'll make our way right now and as you can see our company's assembled behind us really nice view and this is the gunnery view, the BMP. There's no stabilization, so it is a little bit, um, can be very dizzying actually. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it towards the commander or third person view. You see something over there, oh, they're shooting at us. So like it's uh, M13, it's about a thousand meters. Fire. Direct hit. And one more in. A little hit the house. One more. It's hit. Okay, we'll call an Artie. This Geno area. Well, it's really fast. Okay, got some uh, APCs over there. 400 meters. Have one more over there. Hit. Pretty 
and he's initiating its attack. Okay, so they're gonna be attacking. We're gonna be moving up this wall. And he's still up. Yeah, again, the stabilization is just bad. He's still. There we go. Look at our company behind us. Again, we'll stick to the west side of the um, village. See if we can pick them out as well. Because if it's tanks, then I don't think the Artie will do a lot of damage to them. Yeah, look at that. One thing to note is that the gun depression does suck. So you can't really be on the hill and aim down. I get it low right here. Yeah. Okay, yep, I see tank. Get a Mayuka out. Oh, yep, that's a hit. Okay, looks like they're coming from the east. Alright. East should be where I'm facing towards. I'm gonna go around the village. There we go, so at least we got one ATGM kill from that. Oh shoot, okay, keep moving, keep moving. Maybe we'll do it right here. Reverse right there. Man, this jittering is bothering me a lot. We'll go for this one. Go hit. There we go. We got him. All NATO forces have been neutralized. Okay, we got two kills from that. Let's see what our our damages are. Oh, so there are two of them right there, M60s. Okay, so we we did take some loot loss right there. But our 55s are pretty good. All right, so we will we'll take a look at the after action report then. All right, so this one we we're moving up with our company. Got a, our ATGM missile out, and we were able to take him out right there. Was, yeah, to the back, especially with the, where the ammunitions are stored. So that one definitely took him out. So yeah, the M60s, as you can see here, the our BMP took out the M60s, and the heat rounds from the BMPs are actually capable of taking them out, so... That's something to keep in mind for those who are playing. All right, so over here we took a hit. Hit us right here. But we're okay so far. It only skimmed through right through us. And then our other BMP sent some Mayukas down as well. Took them out. Quite effective, actually. And then this one we, we lost. The M60s. This one was also heat round through, through the M60. And I think we lost them as well too. I think we lost two BMPs. And then this one also took a ATGM right here. Ooh, look at that. That's like a firework show right here. But yeah, they are very powerful. Alright, so this one we took out with our ATGM. As you can see, it's about 872 meters. It was quite of an effort to control the missiles. Um, so when you do play it, it's going to be a little bit tricky and hard. So, yeah, quite a quite an effort there. And yeah, our last our T55 sent one round to them, and that's that was it. So to conclude this video and mission, I would say this mission is really good for testing out the BMP. 
in short and also long range engagements. In terms of using the ATGM, it can be a little bit tricky here in this mission because if you're not paying attention, the reinforcements can close in on you. Overall, I think the BMP can be a little bit tricky to crew in, and it does take a bit of practice and some skill to get your shots right. On another note, I forgot to mention that the BMP-2 is coming to Gunner Heat PC, most likely for the Soviet faction. Once again, this is probably one of the most iconic infantry fighting vehicles in the century, so you know, if you really want to try out this vehicle, make sure to check out Gunner Heat PC. And make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to stay up to date. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed.